on this episode, the Queen of Norellan stops in. <laughs> Hello everyone and thanks for joining me in today for another episode and today I'm with a very special guest. Uh, I will let her introduce herself so please introduce yourself to everyone who they don't know you. <laughs> please. That's, well, that's, I'm sure there's plenty. Hi my name is Adriana Kerr. I'm currently the principal of Coot Solicitors and Conveyances and I've just stepped down um, as the president of the Greater Norellan Chamber of Commerce. Awesome, awesome. So well actually talking about the Greater New Island Chamber of Commerce. So why don't you tell us, how was that being the president now you've stepped down, a bit of a change? Uh, it, well, it's a bit of a change. We're still in the handover phase, oh, but okay, it's a yes. great team. Um, the last three years I was the president, so I, I got the opportunity to run a really, um, a really good team. Yes. We grew from about 60 financial members to just almost 250 members when I walked away in August, which is um, a great good. achievement. It sort of reflected what was going on in the area with all the growth, but business is an integral part of this area. If we don't have business, Definitely. we don't have employment, and Definitely. we really want to push that. So Definitely. I'm very happy with yes. um, what's been achieved, and I'm really excited about the new board as well. Yeah, it's actually um, fun being a lot more involved now ourselves. Actually, we come on sponsors for this financial year, yes, so that's exciting. going to be exciting. Um, so now you've stepped into a new role um, with the uh, Christmas Cinderella. Christmas yeah. So why don't you give us a bit of a uh, yeah. Inside on the Christmas, actually looking forward to yes, that. Yes, that's my next exciting project. So Christmas in New has been around for four years, uh -huh. but this year it's a little bit exciting from our point of view. It's in the new New Orleans Town Centre that you can see being built off Cannon Valley Way. Um, it will be finished by then and will be in the restaurant plaza. Awesome. So Christmas in New Orleans on the 12th of November, and that's a really good night. So we have fireworks, face painting, a lot of things for the kids. And I believe it's uh, Justice Crew. Yes, Justice we're very Crew excited. We've just announced that. Justice Crew is coming and is going to be our marquee awesome. performer. So, and then Lyndall and Josh from C91.3 will be our MC. So it's a big night and we're very excited. But we've got that exciting ice skating rink as well. Yes, yes. So yes. if you haven't been ice skating before, you're going to have a very good chance to yep. go First time skating. in Cairns and LGA. Well, awesome. There yeah, you go. there you go. See? That'll be excellent. That's good. So, um... Maybe we could just give, um, you know, being from Coots and the solicitors and, yeah. and, and the conveyances, um, you know, a lot is happening in the area these yeah. days. So we've got any, like, tips for people purchasing new land, new building contracts, any sort of helpful information we could probably give them that they should know? Well, excellent. As you know, being part of Simone Homes, what's happening in this area is a lot of people are, buying, are coming into the area buying unregistered land, which yes. means the land is there to be purchased, but it's not technically registered, so you can't be the owner until it's registered. Correct. What a lot of people are doing is they buy off the plan, but they're also entering building contracts with yourselves, like Simone Homes. They just need to be aware of the timing of when the land is going to register so the builder can be working on the project in the background and everything comes in line with each other. That's right. So a lot of people don't, they rely on dates being verbally told, but they need to keep on top of that. And we can help with that. We've yes. obviously got access to that information. That's so right. So we're happy to help with anyone who's looking to buy unregistered land being experts in the area. Well, that's right, and it does make a little bit of a difference too because some people know that once it actually is registered, it still then becomes a bit of time before the actual land is in their name. Correct, absolutely. So that's, people probably think that it still could be anywhere from two to three weeks after land registration for that's that to happen. Right. And then it has to be registered where council knows that the landowner Correct. and then the builder can lodge the plans like Correct. yourself. So that's, that's right. why after registration, it still can be a good couple of weeks before that's we right. can actually right. take the time. All right, so thanks for dropping in today, Adrian. Joanna, no, for a bit of a bit of a chat. Yeah. Um, looking forward to Christmas in Norella. Yeah, we're very excited. So that should be good. Okay, guys, in the comments below, I'd love to know um, if you learned anything from this episode. And if you've been to a Christmas in Norella before, let us know what your past experiences were like. Excellent. If you have any questions for me and Adriana, we'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.